On today's episode of Let's Talk Drones, we are refocusing on leak detection. And I don't mean methane leak detection. Now, with the release of the DJI Air 3, we sort of took our eye off the ball when it came to the leak community for drone releases. And we also forgot that there were some pretty substantial leaks regarding the possibility of a Mini 4. We've got a new leak from our friend Jasper Ellens that we're going to talk about right here, right now. So let's talk drones. What's up? It's Chris the Drone Geek and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Drones. Let's Talk Drones is brought to you by The Droning Company, the number one online resource for commercial remote pilots based in the United States. Make sure you check them out online at thedroningcompany.com and across all major social media platforms. So recently, our very good friend Jasper Ellens at Jasper Ellens 27 Leaks on Twitter released a new video featuring what appears to be the DJI Mini 4 in further R&D testing out in the field. This actually shows the drone in flight, flying around a tester, and it's pretty concrete proof that we're going to see a Mini 4 this year. What I found surprising and why I wanted to share this with you was not just because it was a really cool video of a new drone coming down the pipeline from DJI, but it also has to do with how quickly we're expecting this drone to hit shelves. Now, originally, when I was giving some speculation on the Mini 4, I anticipated they'd release it around the holiday season, which would obviously make sense because it is a mini drone. It is technically entry level, which means a lot of people might go out and buy it for their loved ones that are showing an interest in flying drones. It's the perfect platform for somebody just getting in to flying GPS drones, so why not release it right around the holidays where spending will be at its highest. However, in this most recent leak video that Jasper posted, he is indicating that there's a possibility we could see the DJI Mini 4 as soon as the end of September. Now, that's just like seven or eight weeks away, so it's one of those deals where we wanna keep our eye on this and how frequently information is leaked about the DJI Mini 4. I'm still sort of cautiously optimistic about the whole idea of a September release. While it would be really cool to see a Mini 4 hit shelves sooner rather than later, it's one of those situations where it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me from an economic standpoint for DJI to release it ahead of the holiday season where arguably more people will spend money on it because it is the holiday season. But that said, we just made a video about Skydio officially announcing they are leaving the consumer sector of drone manufacturing. DJI is largely competing against themselves. Autel is still in the space, but let's face it, we haven't seen anything substantial really as far as R&D goes from Autel in the consumer space. They've got a lot of cool stuff going on with the Evo Max 4T as well as the Dragonfish drone. So they've definitely been doing work over at Autel and some really good work at that, but consumer products seem to be just sort of cruising at this point. So bearing that in mind, DJI really doesn't have any pressure to release this drone during the holiday season. They can kind of just release drones at their leisure and really at their will because nobody seems to want to step up and compete with them anymore. It's not abundantly crucial that DJI release products around time periods where people tend to have more money in their pocket and are willing to spend that money. So I don't know, unless something changes, like Autel comes out with the Evo 3 or maybe a version two of the Light and the Nano, something along those lines, I don't see DJI really adhering to the calendar that we had seen from them in years past where they tried to release a drone in the spring, towards the end of summer, and then again during the holiday season. And before we wrap this video up, I do want to address a comment that was left on my last Mini 4 leak video that I did a while back by viewer of the channel, Geezers Pleasers OG. And on that note, I just gotta say, I don't know where you guys come up with some of this shit in terms of your usernames, but that one got an audible laugh out of me. I don't know if it's intended that way, but it sounds dirty as hell, man. Anyway, this viewer left a comment speculating on whether or not my speculation on the Mini 4 having a one inch sensor was going to be correct after the release of the Air 3 with those one over 1.3 inch sensors. Now in that video that I made about the Mini 4 and speculating on those leaks, I did mention that I would expect an increased sensor size with the Mini 4 based upon some of the images that we saw of the drone in the field. However, after reviewing the video, I never once implied that we were going to get a one inch sensor. I merely stated we would probably get a larger sensor. And on that note, I'm still not ruling that out entirely. Now, I know that the Air 3 came out with a one over 1.3 inch sensor, which is equivalent to the sensor size on the Mini 3 Pro and the Mini 3. But that said, 
we're safely assuming that the Air 3 will get a Pro version or an S version down the line at some point, which I would assume, knock on wood, will include a larger sensor size. So that said, if DJI follows the same pattern they did with the Mini series of drones in the Mini 3 release, where they released the Mini 3 Pro and then the Mini 3, I would say it's pretty safe to assume we could still see an increased sensor size on the Mini 4, especially, especially if they don't include that stacked sensor technology that was featured on the Air 3. Having a slightly larger sensor on the Mini 4 Pro versus the Air 3 and its stack sensor that's slightly smaller, it would still make a lot of sense. And it would protect the Air 3 from being cannibalized by the Mini 4 Pro because the Air 3 still has the telephoto sensor, which gives you that depth of field with that 70 millimeter equivalent, plus the wide angle lens. The Mini 4, we can safely assume, will only feature the wide angle lens. That's historically been the case with the Mini. There's been no indication that they're going to have a dual sensor on the Mini, and I don't see that happening because that's one of the facets of the technology on these drones that sort of separates the Mini from the air from the Mavic. But who knows? The consumer drone world is kind of in a crazy place right now because DJI is just running the table at this point. They can do whatever they want. But what do you think? Do you think we'll see the Mini 4 Pro as soon as the end of September or will it likely be during the holiday season? On top of that, do you think we're going to see just a slightly larger sensor or are we going to see a one inch sensor on the Mini 4 Pro as Geezers Pleasers OG alluded to in their comment. Or is it possible that we'll still have the one over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor and maybe they'll do stack sensor technology on the Mini 4 Pro? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. It helps me out a lot, helps get this video out into the algorithm. And if you really, really liked this video, you love drone content made by drones, about drones, and for drone pilots, this is the channel for you, my friend. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, hit the bell icon. You'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Until next time, I'm Chris, the Drone Geek, and I am out of here. See ya. Yo, yo, what you say? Steady screaming, y'all are rocking.